Good morning, Libra. This message is for you. My name is Renee, and welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all of your support. Keep hitting that like button and comment below. Um, this reading is for January 1st through the 15th for the sign Libra. And Libra, we're starting out with the Five of Cups. Okay. Let's see what else we have for Libra. Spirit, give me a message for Libra for January 1st through the 15th. Okay. We have the Eight of Swords. The King of Pentacles. We have the Four of Pentacles. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, what else? Lots of pinnacles here. So I feel like uh, Libra, I feel like you're kind of worrying about your finances. So you have your finances on your mind. Maybe you are trying to save up for a big expense and you really have that on your mind. You have the King of Cups. You have the Queen of Pentacles. You have the Strength card. You have the Lovers. Okay. Well, if you were worried that love was not coming into this reading, you can worry no more because, yeah, you have the Lovers card. So love is coming in for you for um january 1st through the 15th so if that's something that you're not expecting and i feel like with the moon card on the bottom i feel like it's really taking you by surprise i feel like um you're going to be very surprised about the situations that are coming to you in january the first through the 15th i, I feel like there's going to be some changes going through and there are going to be changes that you're not really expecting now i'm not really seeing that they're really bad changes but um yeah these are unexpected changes and, and the spirit is letting you know to trust trust your intuition trust your gut feeling about the situation um but i feel like you should stay your course stay your course and uh, you'll get through this situation if it is a obstacle or a challenge stay your course and, and you'll overcome the obstacle or the challenge um, but if like I said you have love coming in so I feel like that's a very unexpected change I feel like you weren't really expecting this to happen to you at this particular time so yes you know, some of these changes may be very well for you that they, they may be really good surprises coming forward okay libra let's get into this we have the five of cups and we have the eight of swords so yeah i, I really feel like this is you um you're doing a lot of worrying at the moment and i see that you're really frustrated you feel like everything is holding you back like you're not able to get to a destination that you're trying to reach. Maybe this is trying to save up for a big expense, like I was saying, or this is you just trying to get ahead. But I feel like, you know, you're really get, getting discouraged with this Five of Cups energy. And I feel like you're really being held back. Um, and this may be all in your mind, Libra. It, it may be yourself your negative thoughts that are holding you back. So you may want to focus on releasing those negativities out of your life, releasing that energy so that you can move forward. Because I really don't feel like this is a really bad reading. I feel like the things that you need are coming forward for you. 
I do feel like it's going to take a little bit of effort. It's going to take some work on your part. But I do feel like with this King of Pentacles, I do feel like you're going to find the resources that you need from some available um, some available person or um, resource that, that may maybe you haven't really thought of. But it's going to come to your mind. And I feel like you're going to have to work for this resource. This is something that you're going to have to look into. You're going to have to research. But I feel like with this Four of Pentacles that you are you're struggling at the moment. You're looking for long-term security. And I feel like with a little bit of research, with a little bit of digging, you're going to find the information that you're looking for, Libra. You're going to find it. Because you also have the Knight of Pentacles. So that information is going to come to you. It's either going to be, you know, hard work and dedication. You're going to have to have a little patience in the situation. Um, but it may be that someone that you know is going to come in and offer some help to you. But you are going to find the resources. You are going to find whatever it is that you need um, out of this situation. Now down here, you have the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So you got the King of Pentacles up here. So I feel like these are counterparts. So, I mean, even though they're not in the same row, I feel like they're really close. They're, they're just diagonal to each other. So they're very close. So you may be meeting this person who is your counterpart very soon. Now, I feel like the this if it's not this person it's another person who is the king of cups here um but i feel like someone is coming into your life to be very thoughtful and generous someone is showing you true intentions and they're helping you with the resources that you need they're helping you to figure out your situation okay libra you have the strength card and you have the lovers. Wow. So with this strength card and the lovers, I see that this person, this lovers card, like I said, love can be coming your way in January. And I feel like it's something that you're least expecting. But I feel like it's going to bring you some kind of feelings of deep respect. I feel like you deeply respect this person. It may be someone that you already know, but it it may not be. But I, I'm feeling like it's someone that you already know because you deeply respect this person. Um, this person gives you courage. When you're around this person, you feel fearless. You feel... A sense of gratitude that everything will be all right. This may be the person that's coming into the situation to help you out. This may be your King of Cups here who's coming in with these thoughtful, generous interactions to help you solve your issues. But I feel like there's a fire. There's a fire within this person. There's a spark. This person is igniting something within you that's like building. Kind of like you're building up a flame. You're building up a fireplace to get the warmth from the fireplace. You have to build it up with logs and then you have to light it. I feel like that's what this person is doing for you. I feel like this person is igniting that flame deep within your belly. And I feel like that flame is rising up to your heart. And it's causing you to be very passionate, very inspired. Um, I feel like this is someone who is really charming, very attractive. And I feel like they kind of don't say no. 
they don't take no for an answer. They um, are a real go-getter. They get what they want because they pursue it very deeply. This person can be chasing you. This person can be just really courting you like no other person has. But I feel like there's a great love. There's a great passion within this person. And I feel like you're very, very turned on by it, <laughs> Libra. It's very interesting. Okay, let's see. Let's get some outcome cards for this situation. <clears throat> okay, Spirit, what is going to be the outcome for this situation for January 1st through the 15th? And, of course, some cards wanted to just jump out. Let's see what we have. Okay, <laughs> definitely. Oh, my goodness, I'm loving this reading now. You have the star and the chariot. So definitely, I feel like this person who's coming into your life, this new love interest, this may be you, someone who's coming into your life who's reigniting this flame. But I feel like this is a new person because you have the star. You have something that's brand new. You are the star in this person's reality right now. This person and you have a lot of hope for the situation. And I feel like this person is putting you at the top of a pedestal. They're putting you as a stop, as a spotlight. They're paying a lot of attention to you. They're taking a lot of care with your heart. That's how I'm feeling, definitely. Yeah, I feel like this person is really taking action. They're really being assertive and moving in your direction. Um, and I feel like this is going to be the new change, the new direction that you've been kind of been hoping for with this strength card. This is something that you've definitely been hoping for you've been yearning for this spark to develop you may have been single for a while libra uh, but yeah i feel like this is going to be brand new this is moving you into a new journey a new destiny feel like you're discovering new things with this person. You're discovering new feelings. This person is showing you the things that they like to do, the places they like to go. And I, I'm seeing that you're really enjoying yourself and this is all brand new to you. Wow. Okay, what else do we have for Libra? January 1st through the through the um, 15th. Okay, yeah, you have the Ten of Swords. So, you know what, with this Ten of Swords, I'm not feeling like that's a really bad energy. I don't feel like that's something that um, is physically over. What I feel like this is you being done with the worry with the fear. This is you putting that past you because this situation. And I need some clarity for this Ten of Swords. Give me some clarity for this Ten of Swords. What is this Ten of Swords? Yeah, okay, the Nine of Cups. So yeah, I definitely feel like you're putting your fears to rest. Definitely, you have the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Cups. So this person is definitely they are inspiring you to be fearless. They're inspiring you to let go of any fear, to let go of any anxiety. They're, they're bringing you a lot of happiness, a lot of contentment. 
they're bringing you a lot of satisfaction. This could be abundance in the form of love and passion with this Queen of Wands. They're giving you a lot of passionate energy. Look, you have the Queen of Wands. You also have the King of Wands here. You also have the King of Pentacles. You have the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like this person is giving you an abundance of love. Definitely. An abundance of love. Okay, you also have the Seven of Pentacles here. And the Two of Wands. Okay, Libra. This is something that you've been waiting for. This is something that you've definitely been waiting for. And now, this situation, you're, you're, I feel like this person is holding your heart in their hands. They're very passionate. They're taking care of your heart. They're taking care of you physically. They're taking care of you emotionally. And I feel like with this Seven of Pentacles, this is something that has been a long time coming. This is something that you've definitely been waiting for. This is going to be a pleasant, pleasant surprise, Libra. Very pleasant surprise. Okay, let's get some oracle cards for Libra. <clears throat> what can Libra expect January 1st through the 15th? What can Libra expect? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, Libra, the 1st through the 15th, listen to your intuition. Let your intuition guide you through your situation. Um... And then follow Spirit's lead. Follow the lead. You have the chariot here. So Spirit wants to redirect you into the direction that you need to go in order for this reading to come into fruition for you. You just have to trust and believe. Okay. You have, yes, big, happy changes. Big happy changes. You're going to have such a pleasant surprise. And at the bottom, what you don't notice, what you don't expect, your situation will improve. And I feel like it's going to improve dramatically. I feel like these changes are coming. Whether you know it or not, these changes are coming, Libra. Okay, let's get some monology. Let's see what monology we have for you. What do we have for Libra? The 1st through the 15th. We have, yeah, it's time to release negativity. So, yeah, that's exactly what we're saying with these five, with this Five of Cups and this Eight of Swords. Releasing that negative energy so that you'll be open for this expansion. Um, this progression that you're going through, these beautiful changes that are coming for you. Release any negative energy so that you'll be more open to receiving any positive things the Spirit wants you to enjoy. And you have, it's time to take action. New Moon in Aries. Yeah, so when you follow your intuition and you feel like it's time to take action on your situation, Follow your intuition. Take action. Be assertive. Be fearless, Libra. Okay. And yeah, the energy is gaining momentum. The waxing moon. So I feel like this is with your patience and the inspired action. Um, I feel like, you know what, it's going to be gaining momentum. You're going to go in from um, maybe meditating, contemplating, really thinking on 
releasing these negative energies and then you're going to see when it's a good time to take action and once you take action i feel like it's going to snowball into this gaining momentum event and it's going to bring these happy changes that are coming into your life very unexpectedly i believe and Libra, at the bottom you have new moon in Gemini. Communication is the key. So yeah, whatever situation that you're in, I feel like communication is going to bring you out of the situation. Communicating is going to help you through um, breaking down any boundaries, any walls, any challenges or obstacles that you're going through. Now that is way too many cards here. Let's see what we got. Okay, Libra. Okay. No, maybe I'll keep these. Um, Libra, we have first quarter moon in Libra. Keep your heart open. That's just what I was saying. Open your heart. Remove any negative energy from your aura, from your spirit. And keep your, your heart open so that you can um, really take advantage of what's coming forward for you. Be open to love. And Libra, you have first quarter moon in Aries. Step into your power. And I feel like that's what you're going to be doing, Libra. You're going to be stepping into your power. You're, you're gaining momentum. You're being fearless. You're, you're finding your courage. New moon in Taurus. Know your worth. Libra, you are valuable. You are valuable. You are worth any of your hopes and dreams. You are worth more than that. You are worth any of your wildest dreams. Let me put it that way. You're worthy of any situation that comes your way to bring you wealth, health, good luck, and prosperity. You are worth it. Okay, and last but not least, we have New Moon in Pisces. Attune to the divine. Yeah, that's letting you know to really look to your spirituality. Look to your spiritual side. And gain confidence. Gain um, knowledge and clarity from your spirit. Your spirit wants to talk to you. They want to guide you. And you just have to know when to listen. Know when to use your intuition and follow the lead. Okay, and what you don't see, Libra, New Moon and Aries, just go for it. Definitely. Okay, now we'll get a few more oracles for this reading. What last messages do we have? for Libra for January 1st through the 15th. What clear messages do we have for Libra? We have Shekinah, sacred self. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Yet yeah, be free spirited. Follow the lead of spirit. Like I said, spirit wants to redirect you into the way that, you know, will gain this prosperity, gain this clarity, release any negative feelings. And you also have Paul, the Venetian, experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. Beautiful energy, Libra. Okay, and at the bottom you have the Myron. Sacred vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all and remember that love has no boundaries. Okay, this is a beautiful reading. I feel like a lot of things are going to come to you, Libra. This is going to be, January is going to be a really good month for Libra. So, 
Libra, if you um, would please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And in the comment section, I want you to write, share your gifts with grace. Love is coming to you. I want you to claim that. Write that in the comment section below. And Libra, make sure to check out your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity uh, for this, this year, this new year. And many blessings to you. Happy New Year. Love and light.